time that I get to get out on the land and study the wildlife is a good day. Absolutely. The raptor surveys, it almost seems like, well, it doesn't really feel like work because it's so enjoyable. I'm Christy Wyckoff. I'm the deputy director of the Santa Lucia Conservancy. And I've been at the Conservancy for about six and a half years where I lead our science program. The term raptor is a catch-all phrase for birds of prey. And depending on who you talk to, raptors can either be defined by their feet or by their beaks or the combination of the two. But essentially, they're birds of prey that catch animals with their feet, either on the ground or in the air, and then consume them as their primary food source. One of the goals of the survey is to create a baseline data set. And what that means is collecting information to understand the patterns of nature. And by having that baseline, having the, the foundation the, 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 the values of today, we can compare how they might change in the future. And we have some baseline data from the raptor surveys from 2009 and 2010, where we had a snapshot in time. And now we've revisited those same spots where we collected data before, same bird points. We go and we visit and we look for the birds at the same time using the same protocol. We do that so we can compare them to the numbers that we found back in 2009 and 2010. Mike Stake works for Ventana Wildlife Society, and we've been partners with, with Mike in particular, but with the Ventana Wildlife Society since the late 2000s. And Mike actually was involved in our first raptor surveys. Uh, he conducted the 2009 and 2010 surveys. And while the Conservancy is a conservation organization and we have staffed biologists on our team for a long time. It's hard to have someone who's good at everything, right? And so sometimes you, you have to hire the specialists. And so Mike has been that bird specialist for us. He's come in and he's helped us with the raptor surveys. He's helped us with grassland bird surveys. Um, he and I have partnered on banding efforts. And it's a really amazing resource to have where we can call on him when we need help with these projects. Um, and, and he will add incredible knowledge to the projects that we're working on. What we're finding is that when we compare the number of birds these last couple years to the numbers from 2009 and 2010, we're finding nearly twofold more in red-tailed hawks and in turkey vultures. And what that tells me is that the health of our grasslands and the health of the preserve overall seems to be moving in the right direction. One of the parts of the job that I hadn't expected to be so entertaining and so rewarding is the excitement that the landowners themselves, the members of the preserve, express when they see these same raptors. I see them as this reflection of nature and response to the management that we're conducting on the preserve. I don't know that the members see it the same way, but they see them as these spectacles that just spark joy. The excited emails or phone calls or comments from a member who saw a pair of raptors swirling in the air or saw a juvenile red-shouldered hawk fly through their backyard and, and land on their patio furniture. The way they recount that to me the connection that they feel with owning a property that supports the survival and the, the thriving of those species, it's really hard to, to describe.